Chaos, maybe the people in your chat are just chill? No. This is not true. There, there are definitely some chill people in chat, but there, there are always some people who are just like, this is madness. And I'm some of those people. Like, sometimes someone in chat will say something, and I'll be, I'll be the one who isn't chill. I'll be like, this is madness. You cannot do this. But honestly, that's the fun. Like, I, I like arguing. As long as it doesn't get, like, out of hand, or it's not a, about something, like, that's especially stupid. But, uh, I say stupid. When I say stupid, like, arguing about stupid, like, things that are stupid, like, uh... Oh, I eat, uh, I eat my eggs with ketchup in them. Or, like, I, th there are some people who are like, I put ketchup on my mashed potatoes. That's sacrilege, and those people need to be stopped. But I, I would love arguing about it just because it's funny to me. But, uh, that kind of thing, I'm like, I'm all for it. I'll argue with chat about that stuff all the dude all day. It's fun. But then, like, if you, if you argue about stuff that's, like, more personal or something like that, or you come or from, like, a bad faith perspective, then I'm like, all right, let's not do that. Let's, let's not, you know, let's not be stupid about this stuff. But, uh, but things that are fun to argue about, like, someone says, like, I eat a food this way that's not normal, and then just be, the, the arguments that spawn from that, I find very fun and funny. Wait a minute, I need to be fighting you guys. I need 55 victories. I'm pretty sure eventually, after one of these fights, we'll have hit 55, and then as soon as the fight ends, Skullgreymon will just you all. Eggs with ketchup on it? Excuse me, who made you hate food that much to think of that? I know, right? It's terrible. Like, ketchup is such a good condiment. Why would you ruin it by, like, adding eggs to it? But I'm also the person who doesn't like egg yolks. Like when I, uh, I buy eggs, like legitimately, one of my favorite things for breakfast is to have like four slices of toast, four strips of bacon, and four fried eggs. But when I make the egg, I like, I don't put the yolk in the frying pan. I just put the egg whites in the frying pan. So I, I get none of the yolk. I just don't like the taste of the yellow of the egg, man. It's bad. How did you live that gigawatt laser? Yeah, yeah. Come on, give me a lot of rainbow drops. But the yolk is the best part? Uh, no, I'm. you see, you're mistaken, sir. The yolk is the worst part. That's why I remove it from the equation. See, look at this freak lone wolf putting ketchup on his eggs. What a madman. Doesn't eat egg yolks, puts ketchup on steak. I agree with the chef commenter. This guy is eating like a 12 year old. I do, I admit it. I admit it and I embrace it. Like my standard meal is just to like put some chicken nuggets in the air fryer. Like straight up, that's, that's a meal for me. I absolutely eat as if I was 13 years old, and I love every second of it. There's 55 victories, boys. Let's go. We got Cranium on. He's so swole. Look at him. He's massive. All right. Oh, we gotta, you can use dark moves and holy moves? That's awesome. Okay. Blackout, bad move, chaos cloud. Okay, okay, okay. How do we wanna do this? Let's put, let's put war cry as your like weak move because it only costs 465 MP. Or actually, maybe we should have spin attack as your weak move. That's 315. What would be better? I think war cry would be better. Give war cry is like your cheap move. Then we're gonna have chaos cloud and flash. And then spiral driver is like your strongest move. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waltz is in. Increase max MP and recover half. Decent. All right, grab Leomon. Now we just need you to become Dynasmon, brother. I did not mean to walk into you. Go away. Yeah, yeah. 
By the way, tips for the first playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3. Got it the other day and I'm having a blast. I was gonna play the others, but I don't own a system where those games are on. What do you mean you don't have a system that plays the other games? You mean the other Kingdom Hearts games? But you have Kingdom Hearts 3. What are you playing Kingdom Hearts 3 on? Three is on PC, so is 1.5 and 2.5. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 are on uh, the Epic Game Store or whatever now. Isn't that how you bought three? Like three is on the same place, aren't they all Epic Games exclusive? So like if you bought three on PC, you should be able to buy 1.5 and 2.5 too. Over here. Couldn't find the others there, though? They're definitely there. I've seen people modding them and talking about it. Like, 1.5 and 2.5 are on PC, without a doubt. Like, I guarantee you. Hi, Red Vidramon. I have a Cranium on. I'm kind of surprised that you're still red tagged, not gonna lie. Dude, I love that Cranium on can use light and dark moves, by the way. That's so awesome. I wonder how many Digi Rainbow Drops I have now. We should be getting pretty close to the amount we need. I wonder what EXE Mon we are going to get. Alright, we got at least one Digi Ruby. As long as we get at least one Digi Ruby, then that's not a waste. Although we did get like four last time, so that was a bad one. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, is the 2.8 uh, not on PC? Like, you can't play Dream Drop Distance on PC because 2.8 isn't on it? That's weird. Weird that they would put, like, every other collection on PC, but not that one. I want to use this Ultimate Cranium on me. I am at 149. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, Cranium on. Waltz is in. Oh, 2.8 is there? Yes, you can You can play Dream Drop Distance, too. You can play every game. Goodbye. Anyways, yeah, I mean, tips for uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Really just have fun with it. I don't think there's any, like, trick to Kingdom Hearts 3, to be honest. This is really bad. That was terrible. Wow. That was abysmal. But anyways, yeah, I mean, just have a good time. Make sure to upgrade your Keyblades and all that good stuff. Uh, the best advice I can give is after you finish playing the game, definitely buy the Remind DLC. It's super worth. It gives you, like, 13 of the best boss fights in video game history. That's not true. It gives you, like, 10 of the best boss fights in video game history. Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, Vanitas, and Dark Riku are not that great of fights. Honestly, Ansem's fight and Dark Riku's fight are like, they're good. They're fine. Vanitas' fight sucks. But, like, the other 10 Remind boss fights are like, chef's kiss. Oh, Remind just comes with it when you buy the PC version? That's awesome. No, the Azora boss fight is bad, and I will accept no dissent. I didn't know that Remind just came with the PC version of KH3. That's neat. Well, we still got some rainbow drops. We didn't get holy water and whatnot, though. Now that we have Cranium on, honestly, I think we can just try to go to Boney Resort. Probably get the day to cycle one more time and then go to Boney Resort and try and make some story progress. We also do need to go talk to Seraphimon at some point. But I wanted to get to where we could proceed the story. I don't know if you have to fight Seraphimon or not. I feel like Seraphimon is one of the ones that you wouldn't have to fight, but who knows. We'll find out when we talk to him. But I do think now that we have Craniumon and we have Grapleomon, I want to get the data cycle one more time so I can look at the, uh... I can look at the stock market and all that, and we can feed them some more dishes at the 
restaurant because we have the money for it so that they can get some more stat ups real quick. I'm not going to save and then talk to Serafimon. Like, why? I'm not safe scumming in this game. I don't really do that in playthroughs. I'm not saying that I've never done some kind of a safe scumming thing before in any of my game, any of my playthroughs, but, like, I, it's definitely not the norm. That's just not something I do. Just want to make sure 1.5 and 2.5 Remix contains all games except Recoded in 358 two days. 1.5 and 2.5 has the cinematic cutscenes of Recoded in 358 over two days so that you can see the cutscenes from the game so you know what happened. Um, and then it has the first Kingdom Hearts game, final, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Final Mix, and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. So four of the Kingdom Hearts games. It does not have uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Which Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance is in... Uh, is in the 2.8 collection. Along with the cut, some of the cutscenes from Kingdom Hearts Union X. That tells you about the Foretellers, which is really important lore. And also the uh, prologue, like, three-hour game with Aqua, the Fragmentary Passage. Ooh. Oh, is it just called Re-Chain of Memories? Chain of Memories isn't called Final Wonderful. Mix. Listen, man. Wonderful. I just say Final Mix anyway, because there's, like, an 80% chance that Nomura added the word Final Mix to it at some point. Blame Nomura, not me. I'm not the one that names these whack games. Who on earth names their video game Kingdom Hearts 358 slash two days? Like, come on, dude. Like, I get it. It's it's a it's a clever name when you play the game. But also at the same time, it sounds really stupid to try and convince someone to play Kingdom Hearts and then tell them, so what are the names of the games? Uh yeah, uh Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, 358 over two days. And they're like over two days and i'm like well yeah it's 358 and then like a division symbol like slash and then two days it's it's pretty off hey everyone with cage 3 having dlc i doubt we'll get true kingdom hearts 3 final mix kingdom hearts 3 remind is final mix like that is the final mix version it's just instead of calling it final mix they called it remind because, like, Remind changed the base game as well. Like, it uh, it mixed up some of the gameplay elements and all that. So, like, that that is... That is Final Mix. It's just called Remind. Uh, let's go look at our stuff. Where does Melody and Memory fall in the timeline? After Kingdom Hearts 3. It literally spoils Kingdom Hearts 3 right out the gate. Like, it's, you have to, you basically have to play every single Kingdom Hearts game and then play Melody of Memory afterwards. Strictly speaking, it's pronounced 358 days over two, right? No, it's 358 over two days is how it's pronounced. Because even though it's laid out linearly because of the way the title screen is and all that, it's 358 and then the slash is supposed to be like in fractions, like division. Because it's it's 358 divided by 2, because it's divided by Roxas and Shion. So it's 358 over 2, just like you would say in math. We need 3 more red Digizoit and 14 more Digi Diamonds for that, huh? Where am I at on Rainbow Drops? We still need 23 more Rainbow Drops! I'm dying! <laughs> I am dying 23 more, seriously? Oh my goodness, man. Still need a lot of firewood and fell wood for that. Blue Digizoit doesn't exist. It's actually a lie. I have so many Digi Rocks. We got 23, Godwood. We're getting up there. I'm glad I could introduce you to Kingdom Hearts, Yeti. It is a fantastic franchise. Very many good games. Good characters, good story. It's, it's fantastic. It's just good. Straight up. Do you guys... Wait a minute. Do you guys eat... Bum, 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 bum. 
It's not even true because Axel is there too, so it should be 358 over three days. Well, no, you don't... It's not... Uh, 358 over two days is over two days because it's the story of Roxas and Xion. It's not about Axel. Okay. Axel is just a very important supporting character. Wait, no, no, no. I came over here specifically to feed you guys restaurant food. Uh, we did a lot of steaks, so let's see if we can get you, uh... Oh, and you're at half price. Perfect. We should just buy from whoever's the half price person. Yeah, this is basically the equivalent of the steaks, so this is gonna be... Plus 20 stamina, plus 10 strength is nice, but the 75 wisdom and speed is very good. I think I just want that. Yeah, give me the sushi platter. Oh, and they get to eat it twice. Let's go. Look at those stat gains, boys! Just imagine when we get Seraphimon in here. Seraphimon has the best dishes. Uh, let's just do some light training to cycle the day. Be serious. Yeah, be serious. I hit triangle by mistake. What do we got going on here? Oh my word, look at these stats. Craniumon got back ahead of Grappleomon with his Digivolution. That's amazing. Uh, Craniumon. Let's see. What do you guys need the most? Honestly, I, I'm just going to give you guys HP and MP. Because I want to get HP and MP to level 3. I want to get them maxed out. Favorite character from all of KH? Probably Roxas. Are you ready? Roxas is pretty great. Roxas or Axel? Those are like the popular answers, but there's a reason those are the popular answers. They're amazing characters. They are fantastic. I want to watch your YouTube playthroughs for KH. Is there recommended order to go in? Yeah, you should just watch it in the release order. I'm trying to remember, I did the Redux playthroughs not long ago, like after I played KH3. I don't know if I actively tried to not spoil KH3 when I was doing my Redux playthroughs, but my original playthroughs are like really old, so I wouldn't recommend watching them. I would recommend watching the Redux ones. But, uh, I mean, I would, uh, I imagine if I said spoilers, I didn't like go super deep on them, or if I did, I like prefaced it by saying like, hey, I'm gonna spoil something from KH3. So, uh, I would, I would just watch them in order of release date of the games, and I would watch the Redux playthroughs of Kingdom Hearts. So I would watch my playthrough of the first Kingdom Hearts, and then Chain of Memories, then Kingdom Hearts 2, and then Birth by Sleep. Uh, and then you can watch, I did do a playthrough of Recoded and... 358 over two days of the DS versions of them on the channel. That was before I did the Redux stuff, but I would still, I would watch those after watching the four Redux videos, probably. And, or the four Redux playthroughs, not just videos, those are all long playthroughs. And then watch my Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough, and then watch my Remind playthrough. And then watch Melody, I did Melody of Memory with, uh, with, uh, Liam and, uh, What's her name? Lauren. So then you can watch that. So there you go. That's what you can do with the next three years of your life is watch those like eight playthroughs I just named. Enjoy. Over here. I was watching the Redux in order. I haven't noticed any real spoilers. You hint at stuff at times, but you say spoiler before. I normally try and do that if I can. I just couldn't remember with that playthrough specifically because I did it like a year after Cage 3 came out. So obviously I would have wanted to make some connections between Cage 3 and the other games that had come up. Let's see here. Yo, it's up to 16. Oh, no. Uh, I went up to 16. We shouldn't have sold it. I thought I hadn't sold it yet, but I have sold it. Oh, uh, we can max this out really easy. It's super cheap right now. All right. We're maxed back on lithograph again. Time to wait eight years for it to go up. But, uh... Oh, if only I had held on to the rug. You know that if I would have held on to the rug, it would have tanked. It always does. That's always how it goes. Bone ornament is going back up, which sucks. Pot has been red for eight years, and I hate it. Scroll is, dude, if we can get scroll up to like 5k or something, if we sold all of the scroll right now when it was in the white, it would give us over 300,000, which is actual madness. Imagine if this gets up to like 4,500 or something. Oh, I want to, I'm so tempted to sell it now before it can start to go down. We're at 400. It, when we sell the scroll, we'll be over 500,000, so we'll get another thing from Demo Devilmon. Uh, who's on sale today? Not you. Are any of you on sale today? Maybe none of you are. Nope. Nope. There's no one else in here that sells stuff, right? Nope. 
there are only four of you, so I imagine there are some days that just don't have sails. Give me a thick hot steak. Not full. And then give me a sushi platter on top of that. So just give us a ton of- Dude, the, I remember this now. This is all coming back to me. Coming in here and just buying the most expensive dishes every time my Digimon were hungry because it gave like plus 100 to their stats. It boosts them up so fast. It's like, it's honestly like the only good way to keep gaining, to keep getting significant stat gains when your Digimon are already like at Mega and stuff because you're not getting good stat gains from fights anymore. We dine well today, boys. You're still missing some guys for the restaurant? I'm at least missing Seraphimon. I don't know if anyone other than Seraphimon shows up as a cook. I think Seraphimon might be the last one, but I might be wrong. I mean, there aren't that many more. See you later. See you later, Deno. Thanks for coming to stream, dude. But, uh... There might, uh, there might be some others that join, but I don't think so. Five Digi Firewoods is an amazing get. Please give me some rainbow drops. <sighs> it's always Mercury's with this guy. Always Mercury with that guy. Alright, I want to try and proceed the main story. I think we're good enough now, especially after all those dish stat boosts. Where do you send me today? Faulty X Machina. You know what? Yeah. I was thinking to myself, like, is this actually going to be close to Boney Resort? Because I have to double back to the Wastelands. But I think... Depending on where this is, it should be? Is this the Wastelands? Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's right over here. Alright, perfect. That was a good call. 